Okay. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much An escort more quest. I'm ready, realize. dude. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Loco, you showed off great Gucci trip and now you're wearing normal clothes. Chat will always find a way to make fun of your look. Got to ignore the haters. Cool hat. Thank you, Stradarky. You understand what's up. It's where they cursed Anne. This way. I think the storylines are mostly the same. Uh, for each of the houses. It's just a different starting spot, I think. How much longer are we expecting? Thank you very much, Darky. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. More goblins. Okay. We gotta actually kill some of them for the quest. Oh, the early game quests are different as well. That's nice. Ooh. Okay. I'm just throwing everything. <laughs> hey! That's your last mistake. Okay. Well, maybe I didn't. It's a lot of enemies, though. I did a stupefy. How many enemies are there? Thunder! I'm playing on the normal difficulty. That was a bit more than I bargained for. Because I'm a normie. Sick beats, man. I gotta get rid of some of my stuff again, apparently. I'm gonna be wearing this, just because I want to destroy this. I should probably do one more of those Merlin Trials, though, so I can actually, um... Oh, it's a, it's a potion! Oh, I'm full on potions, okay. So you can have a maximum of 25 of those. I see. It se yeah, exactly, it seems that the harder enemies in this game just have more HP. Those loyalists deserved what they got. That's that's Couldn't it. agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Wow. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. So this is a main quest, it's by the way. It feels like a side quest, something. but... And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? 
Okay. They seem to have set up Rebellion. for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that gold found a pickaxe. Like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. So that's a steel pickaxe. That means they have like level eleven mining. No, RuneScape jokes. Okay, nobody. Okay, fine. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. RuneScape, Rune RuneScape jokes don't. Uh... Professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. RuneScape. Revelio. Well, my new character in RuneScape, I've been running rooftops for about 20 hours so far. It's riveting gameplay. Where you basically click on a green box every three seconds or so. I made a new account. I did. Yeah, I made an Ironman. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do just that, man. I think he's giving me a little bit of uh, a little bit of backseating, man. Rebellion. NPCs can be quite impatient sometimes. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Alan was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. It looks to you Rebellion. like it was intentional. Okay. This well looks familiar. It's a reused asset. I thought the same thing, but this one's all over the world. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. What's longer, a moment or a second? I don't know, man. It's an imaginary Sebastian, time scale here. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Oh, that's over Her here? Was Isadora the drought was Morgadot. this close to Hogwarts? She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And okay. no, welcome. Not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts yes. where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. And if she lives in a painting you, now. I think you were pulling my leg. It is all No, she lives in a painting now, but like we haven't that. met her yet. But we probably will at some point because there's a trial as well. This house. You for answers about what happened to Anne and me for answers about the keepers. Now, Quidditch is cancelled only this. for this year, okay? Someone piled this here for a reason. <laughs> That's definitely Is a DLC type something? of thing, though. Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Man, we are so lucky that my character is an expert on ruined houses that burned down. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. Lumos. They've left all of this simply strewn about. There's a candle on as well. Are we not going to comment bigger. on the candle? That's a lot of chairs. How many chairs do you guys need in a regular home? Because I think I probably have... Let's see. If I were to make a guess, maybe 10 chairs in my home or so. I don't know. 
For some reason, we have a dining to uh, dining room table. Well, we have like we don't have a dining room. We just have a dining table with six chairs. Lauren was like, "No, no, no. We need to get six chairs. This is very important. We never have anybody over, right? But we still have six chairs around that. Um, that meets the majority of the the quota. That seems like way too many chairs for a house this big. You have four chairs. You have eight. Okay. Do the cats get the chair? Well, the cats use those chairs primarily. Yes. Especially in the summer, because they're made out of plastic. And uh, they're kind of cool. We used to have different chairs. I don't know if I can show you guys a picture. Uh, we used to have different chairs around the table. They were made out of leather. Um, Toby destroyed those. If I search chair, is it going to find it? Uh, I don't know if I can find it. Um, no, I don't think I can find it. I have pictures of it somewhere on my phone, but I don't know where. You have more than 20 chairs at home? Dude, that's quite the flex. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a nan, or a man rather, much like my father who lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would to be rid of their torment. A okay. journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. You live alone, never have guests, but you have six chairs. That's what I'm saying. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as, it's as though the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be fortuitous. That would be a fortuitous con consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. There's more. Oh, there is more. Depulso. Incendio. Accio. You Hello? are going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream. Because that happens to me too. I recently bought an extra bar stool in the hopes that someone may one day fill it. <laughs> Rebellion. That sounds so Lumos. sad. <laughs> this guy's flexing with his fucking bar though. Yeah, that's all I'm really hearing, man. He's got a bar? Lumos. You have one of those, like, kitchen island type of deals? Incendio. Lumos. Depulso. Accio. These are properly stacked chairs. Lumos. Depulso. A kitchen island? I feel like a kitchen island would be awesome. Incendium. Um, I don't know, guys. I need to look for... Oh, I just need to speak Revenue. with Sebastian. That's all I need to do. Yeah, our kitchen is uh, pretty small. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I... Don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know 
is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> We've told everybody <laughs> about ancient magic and that we can but see it, except for our best friend. Else about this this is now. true, yes. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I think, um... I think we're gonna be able to cure the sister, guys. I think so. How many chairs do you have at home? Two, three, four, five, or six plus? That's not a very good, like, that, dude, that, that's not a very good poll. Six plus? I feel like most people Why have six plus chairs. Here? Sebastian, look. Like, all my chat lives in mansions, no? Villas. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Revelio. <laughs> we all live at your mom's house. <laughs> There's a blue door that I can interact with. There's things on the walls. <laughs> You've reported the poll. I understand. Levioso, Defendo, Expelliarmus, Depulsa, Akio, Lumos. Man, some uh, doors in this game are really sturdy. It's just amazing. Anything okay. helpful in the notes? There's a bunch of oracles on them. They're Protoss units. Real scary, Sebastian. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by Sebastian, ancient magic? Sebastian, fucking brilliant, I can't mate. be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. <laughs> you just I learned of it three minutes ago! Sebastian, what the- we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned it. I'll let you know Dear what I find God. out. I have months. no idea our visit to Sian would now. unfold into You feel this. all the gearing? My head's an utter mess. I hate to break it to you, mate, but... but I'm Thank you for the 40 month resub. Welcome we back. I'll be in touch. Till then. How are you doing? Ooh, okay. We haven't cured the sister yet. I actually thought the sister would maybe be cured at the end of this quest, but... Not quite. You're finally working from home? Nice. That's why you're watching the stream. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatton Castle. Nope. After dark, do not tell anyone. That's a suspicious message to get from a classmate. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. <laughs> a rhinoceros skeleton. My god, I love people from the UK, man. Rhinoceros. Mm -mm. Revelio. That's how everybody talks.
Alright. I've been... Ooh, I will I will park my character over here. I've been sitting down for like three hours. I'm gonna be right back. Yo, this music is a banger. Womp womp, womp womp, womp womp, underscore. Beautifully, beautifully said. Look, this is called sophistication. This is what everybody in the UK does all the time. Drink a cup of tea. Listen to classical music. Wearing their robes and their full-on suits. Just a regular day in the United Kingdom. You love to see it. That's a beautiful painting. The man watching... I don't know. Look where I found a picture. Ooh, dude, this is Toby. Why do you have a picture of Toby all of a sudden? That is Toby when we first got to see him. He was about this big. Back when he was still cute. Now he's actually... Now nah, I, I just pet him like literally three minutes ago. He, he's still cute, man. Yeah, he's, he's still very cute. <sighs> he is a bit of a dick, though. Is it on his Instagram story? Or on his Instagram in general? For those of you unfamiliar, Loran occasionally posts pictures of the cats that have their own Instagram page. Thank you very much, King Gammon. Thank you for gifting 500 bits. <laughs> He's just sitting like this. You love to see it. I don't know how far down it goes, though. She used to post pretty much every day, but that habit, I guess, kind of was difficult to maintain. Hmm. I still wonder if they gave us the wrong kitten, dude. Like, this is what he first looked like when we first got him. Or when we first saw him. And then he became this. I'm still, I'm still a little suspicious about the whole thing. Now, he still has a little bit of brown in his hair these days. And apparently it's not uncommon. But it does kind of feel like they did the magical switcheroo all of a sudden. But it's the same face. So... It's a little bit suspicious, right? Anyways, he's still cute, so it's okay. <laughs> Wouldn't trade him anyway, but... <laughs> it is, it is kind of sus. This is the whole gang together. Um, I believe this is Toby right over here. Dude, they were so fucking cute, though. Like, this is the trick that they play on you, right? Whenever you go check out little animals. Whenever you're thinking about getting a, a puppy or a kitten or whatever. You just go over there. That's that's what they what they tell you, right? They're like, hey, just come and have a look. You don't have to decide today, but just come and have a look. Go check them out. Um, as soon as you're there, you will want to buy them all. But yeah, um, they were very cute. They were very Yay, cute. Kitties. Yeah, they bait you, man. They know exactly what they're doing. Those people that you know. <clears throat> Yeah, get the product in the customer's hands. Classic salesman tactic. Thank you very much, Flying Ferret Guy. Appreciate it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One of my um, classmates wants to meet after dark. Okay. Meet Natty near Valbarton Castle. Loco, do the Salazar quest? Which one's the Salazar quest? 
Thorch has been asking me to do the Solar Star quest. Which one's that? Do you know which what the name of the quest is? It's the Sebastian quest line? Okay. Okay. I will. Okay. Oh, I just did the previous uh, Sebastian quest just now. May as well um, continue his storyline. I know the fast travel system in this game is pretty good, but there's something about just running around. Hmm, I haven't even been here before. I haven't I haven't been called Puffskeen Dunkeen once since you brought me that venomous tentacular <laughs> leaf. I think I am actually braver. What? You didn't do anything! You paid someone! To pretend to your friends that you were braver. That is not the same thing. Let's go down Santa. Santa in the chat this time hey, of the year. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Uh, Gareth, I will accept your quest, but I'm not gonna do it right now, mate. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped him with that fruper feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Mm. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisby oh, is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. All right. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Is this game Fair worth enough? buying? I think you so. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Mm -mm -mm. I'll need to get those dry... Gareth, if he's to finish his latest concoction. So when your friend suggests making a magic a potion, and he promises you'll be the very first to try and taste it. I would not be taking him up on that offer, I'll be honest with you. Ooh! This is the way? To the hall? I had no idea. This is where, um... What's his name? Professor Squirrel, I think? Whatever his name was, he ran around like troll in the dungeon, troll in the dungeon. Thought you might have known. Rebellion. Sorry, Dad. I don't know exactly what the what the line is. Uh, Owl lectern. The enchanted lectern serves as a spot from which the headmistress or headmaster. Right. This is where Gandalf stood, and he was like, "Silence!" Something like that, right? Gandalf is one of my top five favorite wizards from Hogwarts. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Disagree. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. No, I'm pretty I sure it's got enough. Up. The one with the gray beard. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. 
I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. Harry, the did you know put this. your name in the goblet Better of than fire? Most. Said Perhaps I've spoken calmly. out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Did you put your name in the goblet of fire? <laughs> I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Thank you, Mr. Steel, your beef. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? This is it, chat. This is it. This is what we need to do. This is one of the forbidden curses we are not allowed to use. This is for torturing people. He's gonna have to teach us. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles huh. for sport. That sounds fun. Ominous described um. the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Can we practice Crucio now on each other? What? I didn't... Hello. I didn't get it, guys. We need to find... Yeah, we need to find a muggle. To cast it on. Do you think they just throw out all of this food at the end of a meal? Oh, you volunteer as tribute? Thank you so much, Nelson. Revelio. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky. That is kind of beautiful, isn't it? You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna pass time. I'm gonna see if there's a follow-up quest that Mr. Sebastian's gonna give me here in a minute. I'm gonna take a nap right here. Do you think their students actually actually or they actually come in here? I guess not. Okay. Right, I think it's time for us to go and meet the lady. After dark, guys. You shouldn't use slurs like that logo. The proper term is my mugger. Oh, okay. Muggles. I saw a great theory today. I don't remember it exactly, but um... Apparently... All the people that were turned into, um, into Horcruxes... Had very bad moods. Like they were kind of cranky and they weren't having a good time whenever they were close to a Horcrux, right? Like remember when Ron, for example, wore it and... When, when Harry had the same thing as well. So someone suggested that the muggles that Harry Potter stays at, at the very beginning of the books, whatever they're called, they were always very cranky. Someone suggested that they have made, they maybe have been a Horcrux themselves. Thought it was kind of funny. I was like, yeah, maybe. Man, that would actually be kind of sick. It'd be kind of fun. Oh, we gotta go over there? I think I'm gonna try and fast... The Dursleys? There you go. That's it. Yeah, Harry himself was also a Horcrux? Well, I mean, uh, <clears throat> definitely not. 
Spoiler, hello. What's going on, Echo Soldier? Oh, nice to see I don't know you, exactly, Brent name, dude. Petunia, I was just un misunderstood, okay? She was a lovely person. I don't think we can fly over here, can we? No. There's an anti-flying bubble. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Probably, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Probably. The word that my character is actually looking for is, is called gezellig. He keeps using cozy, but I feel like cozy is not descriptive enough, okay? We need a word gezellig. We need a, a an English equivalent of the Dutch word. Gezellig, chat. It's a great word. Dutch people love the word gezellig. Yeah, there's a, 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 a Danish word called hygge, I think. Or yuga or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Gezellig. Dutch people talk about that word all the fucking time. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hello. Sorry, I was just taking a nap here, Natty. I'm ready for our um, nightly adventure. Whatever. I don't know what Over we're here. doing. Quietly. Dutch might be Klingon, honestly, I don't know. Received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Nazi, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Halo here and why I wrote to you. I need your you help. You should have sent me a text you. message, dude. It's way faster. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Okay. Uh, this game apparently takes place in the 1890s. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. So I think um, text messaging was not very popular yet, but Rebellion. I've been surprised before. So you never really know. Um, I gotta go up there. I think flying there is probably just the easiest way. So how did people communicate before texting? What was the... How did people do it? I can't fly. They probably, yeah, probably things like screaming loudly. Maybe like, you know, two cans with like a string in between. Smoke signals. Something like that. No one enters unless they're with the pack or the ash winders. Anything you take from unwelcome guests gets split. Do not leave until you've been relieved by your placement. Okay. Your replacement, rather. I gotta climb the battlements. Can I just jump up here? Yeah, I can. Hmm. I wonder what that does. That did it. I did it. Accio. Vindanium Leviosa. Yeah, you know, text messaging is Beautiful, guys. 
It's the easiest way to convey emotion. Just use a lot of eggplants, exactly. A lot of peaches, that sort of thing. Um... Incendio. I need one more box. Now, I see a lot of boxes, but these are none of the boxes I can actually interact with. So... Can I... Lumos. Is there anything I'm missing here? Revelio. So for this quest, I didn't need Wingardium Leviosa. Um. <laughs> uh, I just glitched out the box. Whoa! It magically dis. Amazing. Come here, little box. Could it be magic? Probably. You know what? I think it was magic. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Can I put it sideways? Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to flip it. Accio. So do I have we to have Flipendo as well? We I think I need to put it on its side, yeah. So I can turn it like this. And I can push it forward and backwards, but I don't have the option to flip it. I wanted to put it on its side, which I feel like is the better way of doing it, but... I don't think I can stand on it while using Wingardium Leviosa, no. The Flipperino spell, which is this one? That's all it does. But I'm probably derping out somehow, though. Um, can I use Leviosa while I'm on top of it? Leviosa. Nope. Oh, that allows me to... Revelio. Mate, the fucking controls on the PC are mental sometimes. Ay yeah, yeah. I think I can flip it, but I don't know how. I don't even know if I then get high up enough, to be honest. The controls were fine when I first Levioso. got started, but like the more and more concept they've introduced, the more annoying it gets. Can I- can I climb on it now? Does that work? Oh, now it does work. Okay, so I cannot do that with Wingardium Leviosa, but with Levioso I can. Revelio. Okay, didn't expect that. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Revelio. Yeah, I thought that would be a second box. That's what I thought. There is a second box over here. Well, there were loads of boxes. I think you can probably play with a controller on the PC, yeah. But then I would have to relearn all the, all the hotkeys and stuff. I mean, I could also just re-hotkey it. I'm just stubborn. Anything on this side? Dead end. Must be another way in. I mean, you can definitely yeah. climb through this little window. Yeah, Wingardium Leviosa, I guess, is more of control. Leviosa just makes things float. So my spells don't actually work here. Because I think I'm crouching. Um, don't know why. Wow.
You can't use spells while crouching. Why? Don't know. There are so many solutions to open that gate, but the game wants me to go with one specific solution that the game has thought of. But I don't... I <laughs> Can I see the box from the other window? I mean, I feel like I could just climb through. Yeah, so I can move the box from here, but I can't climb through. I guess Limbox. I should go Wingardium Levioso over here instead. Wingardium Levioso. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so silly that though. As if it might raise the gate. <laughs> I can't believe I have to write this down, but you moon mines don't listen. Push the gate open, don't blast it. Revelio. Any loot over here? I need to be rewarded, okay? Okay. Depulsa. Why doesn't she run through? Go! 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 Oh, I thought I could push that or I could grab that for sure. Oh, I think I can. I just used the wrong spell. This way, I will get the door. You could have run through it the first time around. How's the game so far? Um, it's been pretty good. Oh, she can do that. Today has been a little bit frustrating. It might just be me, to be honest. It's probably me. I was enjoying this game like a 9 out of 10, though, before today. Today has been like a 7 out of 10. Yes, restrain the pain. Ooh. Oh. Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Get these things back to now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go. Are you going to help me? Blast it. Gotta be Blast it! To get up to the roof. <laughs> Somewhere. Bollocks! <laughs> Revelio. People in the UK, man. That's that's I that's how they swear. Stays out of trouble. Gosh darn it! All to yeah. heck! There's a box. I'm assuming I'm gonna need said box. Wingardium Leviosa. Can't use said box from here. Can we uh, push it from here? Capulso. There you go. Don't know what we'll need to use it for, but I'm Revenue. assuming we're gonna need it. I guess the same idea over here. Um, gonna have to Wingardium Levioso it. No, you can't use your broom in this place. Okay, yes. No. Yeah, so that's the difference between Levioso and... Um, Wingardium Levioso. There you go. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. 
I don't know if I do. I was gonna go for the cloak approach, but I don't have the cloak on my action bar anymore, so... I can't be bothered. Oh, that kinda hurts. Bump! Bump! They're dead. Banana. Hello, Hamora. Were those muggles? No, no, no. Those were dark wizards. But definitely a good subject for Crucio if I had the spell. That's for sure. Oh yeah, no. Hogwarts is not not very. Uh, they they don't really mind murder. Rebellion. They're kind of chill about it, really. Nobody even talks to me about it. I hope okay. Nazi's having an easier time of it. We can go up here. Maybe it's like Pokemon, yeah. Maybe they're not actually dead. They just fainted, you know? 